when Solomon sold the thousand burnt offerings, he stepped into a place that nobody was in on the earth. Nobody was where Solomon was. Nobody. How do we know that Solomon was somewhere that nobody was? Because Solomon was the richest man. So that means that he had the highest level of God's trust. Saints, the father spoke to me and told me something that I never saw before. That God trusted Solomon more than any man on the earth to the degree he was having conversations with Solomon about plants and science. And he was having conversation with Solomon about sex. He was talking about the breast of a woman to Solomon. How are you having a conversation and talking about how a woman is naked and, and, and all these sexual things? God felt safe around Solomon, but the thousand dollar seed, he sold a thousand burnt offerings and the father elevates him to a place that nobody is at. The Lord had a conversation with me and he said, son, he told me this and that's why I said it. Solomon didn't ask me for no wives. Solomon didn't ask me for no concubines. Solomon didn't ask me for riches. Solomon didn't ask me to be the wisest man. Solomon didn't ask me to build the, uh, the house of the Lord for me, the gold house. Solomon didn't ask for none of that. If you go look in the Bible, Solomon never asked God to give him anything that God gave him. It was his sowing that released God into a gracious lifestyle manifestation for Solomon. And watch this. God broke laws. Let me tell you something. I don't care who the word of God offends. I don't care. We must get back to the Bible. God bypassed all laws for Solomon because of the seed. That's why people can be working at a job for 30 years and you can work at the job for three days and the boss want to give you more favor than them. Because God is breaking laws. According to law, they should get the promotion. But according to grace, according to you yielding to the system of God, God will make the system move in your direction. Jesus told a parable that there was a marketplace and everybody came and worked at the marketplace. And at the end of everybody working, I'm paraphrasing for time. At the end of everybody working at the marketplace, they all got paid the same thing. What was Jesus doing? He said, the first shall be last, the last shall be first. How could someone just come and receive what you have been working for for years? They're listening to the spirit. Solomon listened to the spirit, did what the spirit said. God gave him a life that if you looked at Solomon's life, you will persecute him. If anybody looked at Solomon's life, they would say he's out of order. If anybody looked at Solomon's life that was not in the spirit would say, this man is doing something that's never been done before. It wasn't so much Solomon, it was God. Isaiah 43 verse 19 said, Behold, I do a new thing. I, not, not man, behold, I do a new thing. I. A new thing means that this thing has not been done in Abraham. So don't tell me about Abraham when I'm doing it. Don't tell me about Sarai when I'm doing it. Don't tell me about Isaac. Don't tell me about Jacob. Because this new thing was not done in them. It is a new thing. New means that it has been spontaneously created at the spur of the moment according to the reward that God wants to give to one. You'll have to watch the replay to understand what I just said. Solomon unlocked the newness of life with the seed. Solomon unlocked Financial favor with the seed. Solomon unlocked prosperity with the seed. Solomon unlocked pleasure with the seed. I'm going to say this. 
Solomon unlocked divine sex with the seed. I want to say this. Solomon had a divine sexual ability that no man had on the earth. I want to say this. That the woman, the people that were in the kingdom, were also partakers of what Solomon was moving in. As long as they was connected to Solomon, they themselves had the ability to flow in different realms. They didn't know how to until their connection with Solomon. Solomon had the secrets of God of functionality. He knew what the body needed to eat. He talked about health in Proverbs. He said that a sound heart is life to all the flesh. He knew about how to get money to move. He knew about how to get angels to move. He knew about how to get plagues to move, disasters to move. <laughs> I can't say that either. Um, <laughs> that's just my, that's my stand-up comedy joke. I'm going to save it till I go to a comedy club. I'm going to save it till I'm not talking to... to <laughs> God is funny because because with all the movement and uh, let me get back to what I'm finishing about to say. Let me get back to what I'm finishing about to say. I'm about to close. <laughs> now look at this here. The Holy Spirit gave Solomon the roadmap. To how to live a supernatural, uncommon, blessed life. And it was through relentless sowing, supernatural sowing. See, I smell sense. See, I have this. What, what this scent is Louis Vuitton. See, as I'm, as I'm talking on here, I smell this scent on me. This Louis Vuitton. <laughs> baby, I'm, I'm not, baby, I'm not mad if you mad. I'm not mad if you mad. Baby, I'm going to tell you one way. I'm going to tell I'm, 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 I'm smelling this Louis Vuitton on me. That's what I'm smelling. I'm not, I'm not worried about if you angry or not. Baby, baby, I ain't, baby, I ain't. I ain't worried if you mad or not. I, I, I say I smell this Louis Vuitton on me. <laughs> the cops try to arrest you. You tell them, hold on, cop. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. Hold on. All right. Here you go. <laughs> Saints, I was just on the road just now. The cop almost ran me off the road. Saints, the cop almost ran me off the road. So I looked over at the cop like, what the hell? The cop was on the phone texting. <laughs> I think I saw some legs on the screen. I'm not really sure. I ain't, I ain't stared too long because, you know, they try to pull you over when you find them out. <laughs> like, hey, officer, real, real, real. No, nah, you can't pull me over. I got this. Where my phone at? Come on, man. Come on. let where the street cameras at? Where the street cameras at? They got street cameras up in here? You mess with... Hey, Kool-Aid. Rear, 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 rear. Nah, don't rear, rear me. Cop almost run me off the road. He, he texting on the phone. I said, no wonder... People be in house fires and dying, burnt up. Cause they, they, they out there just. Saints, some cops pull you over because they just broke up with their girlfriend. I'm tired of you, Willie Earl. Oh, you tired of me? All right. You're not going, you're not going to mess up my day. Come on. Rear, 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 rear. <laughs> what, what I do? I didn't do nothing. 
the officer won't get all aggressive with you. Uh, the cat see your license and registration. What you doing out here? I'm driving. That's what I got a car. Duh. Like what? 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 That's what the car's supposed to do. Like, well, you want me to walk? So you can shoot me in my thigh? <laughs> what you doing out here? I'm driving. Why you driving? Because I got license, duh. Like what? Is you all right? You scrape? You going to jail. Come on. <laughs> what? What are you going to jail for? I ain't do nothing. But he mad because his girlfriend just broke up with him. And says then them cops be cheat they they be they be they be cheating in their job. Tell us, tell us, they, they resist the arrest out here. Come on, cold blue, cold blue, cold blue. I'm not resisting no dag on arrest. You got me back here. I ain't do nothing. The saints when I saw the cop on, on the and the cop the cop was looking at me, then the cop started following me. I guess he thought I was going to complain on him. So I turned my worship music up even louder. I play instrumentals. I, I, I really don't listen to people's songs nowadays. Not nothing wrong with songs. But I listen to instrumentals more. I listen to instrumentals these days. So I turn my instrumentals up real loud. Glory to God. Solomon unlocked this supernatural life with relentless sowing. Father, I receive relentless sowing on my life. I receive the ability to sow into you, to sow into my man of God this year. And Father, I receive every harvest that you have for me. Thank you. Thank you for every single thing that you do for me, day in and day out. I praise you, Lord. Everything that I did not recognize today, thank you, Father, for doing it. Everything that I did not recognize today. And Father, I thank you for a glorious day today. I thank you for a glorious day today. And I praise you for this year being crowned with your goodness, your abundance. I thank you today. Lord, I receive your daily benefits. I receive the load of benefits. Lord, thank you for keeping me alive. Thank you for keeping me in my sound mind. I praise you. I praise you, I praise you. I praise you, I praise you. Lord, I thank you for all of your goodness and mercy. And I thank you for feeding me and clothing me and taking good care of me. I praise you and I trust in you. And the best is yet to come with you. I look forward to our life together. In Jesus' name.